everybody, my name is Geneva. I go by Genuinely Geneva on all my social media platforms. You can find me on Instagram, you can find me on Pinterest, and you can find me on my blog at www.genuinelygeneva.com. So today's video is going to be a little bit different. I'm going to give you a sneak peek, a behind the scenes look at me when I go fabric shopping. Um, I'm going to go to Joanne and I'm going to Hobby Lobby. Joann's has some fabric on sale that I want to pick up and then Hobby Lobby's having a sale a 30% off sale on their fabric so I'm just going to go check them out and see what they have um, so I'm going to finish getting ready then I'm going to jump in my car and head to Joann's I'll check in with you when I get there and then after I'm done I will share all my fabric purchases with you and talk to you about my sewing plans so I'm going to go jump in my car and I'll head to Joann's and I'll see you in a minute Okay, so I'm in my car and I am headed to Joanne's. you guys i had a good day at shopping at joanne and hobby lobby i am headed to pick me up something to eat and then i'm gonna go home and i will do a quick little um, fabric haul for you guys and talk about my sewing plans um and show you what i got from the fabric store so i'll see you in a little bit okay so i have made it home and now i am going to go through the fabric that i purchased i also purchased some patterns and i'll talk to you about my upcoming sewing plans so first up um i'll just go ahead and start with hobby lobby i only got um, one piece of fabric from hobby lobby like i mentioned earlier they're having a sale all their fabric was 30 percent off so um the only thing that really caught my eye was this kind of mustard colored polka dot 
and I purchased three yards at $4.89 a yard. So the total without tax was $14.67. And so my plans on this fabric right here is to probably do um, a skirt. And so I just pulled out a skirt pattern. Um, I want to do a skirt with a ruffle. So I was looking towards um, this pattern, McCall's 7606, and probably going to do view C. So if you see right here, view C has a ruffle on it, and I just kind of like that pattern so that's probably what I'll do or something similar to that all right and then I got a majority of my fabric from Joanne fabric store and I also got some patterns so here is one of the bags from Joanne fabric store and so the patterns that I purchased um, I'll start with those first and I actually have some other patterns in this bag over here so let me get those out so I got a lot of patterns, um, some that I wanted to get from a new spring line as well as some of the older ones. So I got 9130 because I like the tunic style uh, shirt. So I will be making this view right here, which is view B without the ruffle sleeve. Um, I like this simplicity skirt 9267 and I actually like views A, B and C on that one. I then wanted a um, duster pattern, so I'm going to use this rope pattern as my duster pattern because it has a hood on it, and it's simplicity 35.75. I then like this dress here, um, simplicity 92.77. I just like the simplicity of the dress. I also like the button detail down the front, so I purchased that one. I also like this caftan for the summer, so I purchased 56.28. I purchased 9272 because I liked view B, which is the sweater pattern. I actually want to make a short set that has a sweater like this and some shorts to go along with it. And that is Simplicity 9272. I then purchased Simplicity 9278. I just like the overall set itself. I want to make a jogger kind of like suit and so I thought that would be perfect for it. Um, I'm missing some of the pieces in this pattern right here, 87.42, so I just went ahead and repurchased it. I already own this pattern. I also own this pattern here, but it is at my mom's house in California, so I repurchased it. It's Simplicity 88.35. And then I wanted to try a different style of uh, mask since we're all wearing masks these days. And so I picked up Simplicity 93.13. So the fabric... Um, one of the pieces of fabric that I bought was this red, white, and blue, I guess kind of like tie-dye. And I purchased um, three yards of it. So I want to do some type of knit dress. And the idea that I had in mind was this pattern right here, which is Simplicity 8835. And I think I'm going to go with UC. So I have plans on probably doing something like this for the 4th of July because it's red, white, and blue. Alright, then moving on to um, the rest of the fabric that I bought. I could not resist this Aztec looking print. It's a sportswear fabric and of course it's not for spring or summer but it will be for future use probably for the fall. And I bought four yards of it because the plan is to make some type of duster. Um, then I've seen this so super cute swan fabric everywhere. I purchased five yards of it because I want to make a loungewear set out of this. So I'm not sure if I'm going to make like a robe and then maybe like a, a dress or if I'm going to do um, a top and a pant. But I definitely want to make a loungewear set out of this fabric here. I purchased this uh, abstract kind of tiger print. Um, from Joann's, I got two yards of it because I want to make a tunic top out of this particular fabric right here. And then last but not least, I purchased, um, it's not quite two and a half yards because I didn't have two and a half yards, but it's this tie-dye denim fabric from Joann's store. And I recently purchased the mauve pattern, the skirt pattern from True Bias. It just dropped maybe... Um, this week or last week or sometime here recently and so I want to make that skirt and I'm going to use that fabric 
So that's everything that I bought this weekend from Hobby Lobby and Joann Stores. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope that you enjoyed coming along with me as I went to Hobby Lobby and I went to Joann Stores. Comment below if you want me to do more videos like this. Like this video if you liked it and would like me to do more videos just like this one. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed. And I will definitely see you in the next video. Bye.